Tina, others think you can be a pretty self-centered person. What do you think? I don't care what they think. <laughs> I care what I think. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tina is a legend, all right. In her own mind. Like, if you don't believe any of us, just ask her. She'll tell you. Her ego is so big, it deserves its own zip code. You do seem to be very self-assured. Where does that come from? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I accomplish whatever I set out to achieve, and I have a track record to prove it. <laughs> Anyone who's been around me for 10 minutes can recognize my potential. The key to understanding Tina is her self-assurance. She always stands her ground, even when she's wrong. I always say she's frequently in error, but never in doubt. I think those of us who are visionaries and top performers deserve a certain level of admiration and respect. If others want to be smart and win, they could learn a lot from me. What's it like working with Tina? Working with Tina is great if you flatter her, if you allow her to take credit for your accomplishments, if you always agree with her. You know, when things are going well, uh, she's fearless. She's hardworking, she's pretty inspiring. Don't you dare tell her I told you that. <laughs> but when things go wrong, be prepared to be blamed for her failures. I think she views the people on her team as replaceable cocks. Nobody trusts her, but everybody is impressed by her, especially Tina. Do you think you're overconfident at times? It's not bragging if it's the truth. <laughs>